Alright YouTube, so I said I would make this video a couple hours ago. Probably the last video before bedtime. Bedtime's getting pretty soon. <laughs> but, um, I wanted to talk about how different circles of wisdom, how different schools of thought would react to wrongdoing. Basically, I'm going to look at the left-hand path, or most of the left-hand path, versus the right-hand path. Now, many of time when I've tapped into Christian radio broadcasts out of sheer boredom and wanting to criticize, criticize it, I always hear on the radio calls from women who are saying their boyfriend's being abusive or their boyfriend dumped them or what should they do or their boyfriend's not Christian or their family just disowned them and what I notice with most right hand path religions is they feast off of one's guilt and they hold it over the victim's head I've heard a couple different answers to these questions one one of them is you're not being faithful enough you're not praying hard enough um the other part is oh, oh yeah he was possessed or he wasn't uh, he was going through a trial god's testing his patience and they always put emphasis on forgiving your wrongdoers just let them live their lives and etc well that might be fine and dandy if you can do that but most of these people can't. They have this hate built up against them. They get out of an abusive relationship and they're strong Christians. And they forever feel guilty because they always think it's always something they did. A wrongdoing they did. That, that was the reason that their partner broke up with them. So they can't get into a relationship or they can't trust men. I've heard of women getting raped. And never getting past it because, you know, they never... I'm sure it's hard to get past rape. Don't get me wrong, but, you know, they don't trust men anymore. Or, you know, they, they don't have this sense of... Um, taking vengeance. Or they never can get past it, but they're always in this internal conflict with themselves that they feel... Like, they should get past it, but they just can't. You know, like, oh, I need to be the better person. Which is completely acceptable in social situations. Yeah, let the person make an ass out of themselves. But if someone's wrong, done wrong to you, and you're being told, oh, don't take them to co or court, or <clears throat> don't curse them, or it's not God's way, Jesus didn't want this to happen, forgive your wrongdoers. A lot of people can't do that. Now, a lot of satanic and pagan and Wiccan circles are quite the contrary to this. They put emphasis on, by all means, if you feel you need to destroy them, destroy them. In any way possible. I mean, yeah, if you feel, you know, if someone's, it's their own initiative. If they feel like they need to kill someone, they need to kill someone. I wouldn't imagine a circumstance where that would be <laughs> your best uh, notion, but if you feel you need to do it, do it. No one's stopping you. But they put emphasis on taking vengeance. Sure, beat the shit out of your, your wrongdoer. Have no remorse in doing so. I'm sure, and I wouldn't be surprised if I heard of, you know, Satanists beating the shit out of child abusers or animal abusers. It's like, no, those are completely asinine acts and should be faced with repercussions, either through a legal system or taking matters into your own hands. So the left-hand path would say, by all means, if you feel you must destroy this individual, destroy this individual. Whether this be cursing, 
hexing, physically harming them. And the right hand path would say, no, no, forgive them. They were weak in a time. It was emotional turmoil. And throwing a bunch of disgusting excuses. They don't want you to think for yourself. See, a left hand path philosophy isn't going to care if or if you do not take initiative and take vengeance upon those who have wronged you. It's solely your decision. Yes, we do recognize it's a completely rational way of solving your problems. However, it's your choice to make or not. Don't have some supposed higher power tell you not to. Because the central theme of the left hand is do what's right for you. If it doesn't feel right, don't do it. There's no reason you should be forced to do anything or not do anything because something that supposedly is higher than you tells you not to. That's about it for the topic of what each path would do with wrongdoers. Um, I'm going to have another video up tomorrow explaining the differences in left-hand path and right-hand path philosophy. Uh, this is Mjolnir Man. Have a wonderful night and have a wonderful tomorrow. Subscribe, check out my other videos if you're a newcomer. Peace out.